And welcome back to Coffee with the Wolves. As always, I'm Damian Dennis. Uh, and I just want to say, first of all, thanks to Sean Sanderson uh, last week for uh, subbing in for me. I was feeling sick, so I guess not as always. But, uh, you know, thanks to Sean for stepping in last week. I'm back feeling much better, and I'm joined again by Tom Welsh, our volleyball coach. Tom, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me, Damian. I'm excited to be back and ready to talk about how we've been doing. Yeah, and uh, your your season up to this point has been a bit up and down, uh, yeah. and we'll just dive straight into it. Uh, you know, last time I had you on was before the uh, season tipped off, mm -hmm. and you were entering the opening weekend tournament. Yep. You had high expectations. You wanted to go at least five hundred. You did not hit that mark. Nope. Uh, I think you finished <laughs> one and five. Yeah, one and five. Yep. Uh, but you won the last game of that yep. tournament, and since then you've won every match. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, again, up and down, you know. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, the Wolves' performance in that opening tournament and how you kind of corrected course leaving it? Yeah, so we started off, we played, we were the only D3 school to play all weekend. Every school either stopped on Friday or stopped on Saturday. We played Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we were number one in the country in matches played early to start the season, and every team we played was a D2 school. So we had a lot of good competition. We had to figure out fast who we were. We were playing with a lot of different lineups. Having 19 girls, I were, were able to do that. And I think since then we've found something that works, obviously being 4-0 in our last four. So it's, it's working there. But we, we had a lot of tough teams we played. Let some ones get away. You know, I, I told the girls yesterday that the first two were kind of like, Whatever happens, obviously their first match of the season, you never know what's going to happen. Our second match of the season was a fifth set loss, 15-13. So had we have not missed a few more serves or not committed some stupid unforced errors, we probably would have won. So a five-setter is a toss-up in my book. Everything else was stuff that we can control and we can fix, and we've been doing that ever since. I think also had we have gotten that first win first rather than last, it would have been a totally different weekend. I think that our confidence would have been sky high. I think we would have been riding, you know, riding really high, but it didn't happen. So yeah. now we're just kind of regrouping and, and readjusting. And this weekend we have a huge tournament at, at College of DuPage, so it'll be a good test for us to see. And it's it definitely is up and down. We're trying to stay on the up, though, and I think we're, we're on that right yeah. path right now. Sitting one game uh, beneath 500 at the moment, but a chance this weekend to not just hit 500, but maybe surpass it, you know, get on the winning side of things. Uh, up until this point, who have been some of your student athletes who have stood out, who have kind of, you know, again, kind of corrected their course uh, and started performing at a higher level or just, you know, f improving? Because, I mean, it's still early in the season, you know, but from that opening tournament to this point, entering the College of DuPage tournament this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Our middles and our setters have been our bright point this season so far. Our serve receive is a little bit on the down. We're working on that every day and getting better. But I would say that our two middles, Aubrey Phillips and Monica Jerk, who's our sophomore captain, are – are you know leaders by yeah. far in everything that we do they they are two and three in the country in total blocks um after the first weekend monica was i think 10th in kills after the first weekend so they're they're our bright spot right now our setters are doing a really great job of decision making and adjusting we have three freshmen and a sophomore and Haley dunn abby rivera ella murray and gabby bernard are just really stepping up and and Running our offense well, we're still missing on connections a few times, but overall I think they've been doing a really, really good job. So our bright spots now are definitely our middles. Our defense from the front row, our blocking is really good, and then our setter decision-making has been pretty great. You know, you start the uh, season, you know, six matches ac across three days, and then that level of intensity really just kind of dies down. But this weekend, a little bit of a repeat of that. I think it's four matches over two days. Yep. You know, uh, how does that uh, kind of frequency of matches uh, kind of go back to back like that, how does that impact the team both positively and negatively? It's interesting because you don't have the time to reset, really. We pretty much have to go, 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 and then we're done. Uh, up in Rockford, we had on Friday, we played back to back. 
Saturday we had a really large gap where I think it affected us a little bit. We played at 11 a.m. and then we didn't, or I think it was 10, 15, and then the next match was at 4 in the afternoon. So we had a really long gap and, you know, we were able to talk and reset and do stuff. But then on Sunday we played back-to-back. Yeah. With regular season matches where we're just playing one in the day, you have time to regroup and to get comfortable with your surroundings. At tournaments like this, when you're playing back-to-back or in a place you're not familiar with, it's it's a little bit more difficult to do that. We tried pre- prepping our freshmen up in Rockford that this is going to be a long weekend and really take care of your bodies and your mind and, and be healthy. And I think they did a good job, but, you know, we didn't, we didn't start the way we wanted to. And at – COD this weekend, it's, I mean, it's all D3 schools, so it's all teams that we would face at the national tournament. College of DuPage is ranked fourth nationally right now. We play them tomorrow. And then Century is a top team as well, and we play them tomorrow as well. So Friday is going to be a really tough matchup for us, but I think we're ready for it. I, I think mentally and physically we're ready for it, and we just need to come out and execute. Yeah. Uh, you know, I guess kind of looking forward – what are you expecting expecting to see in terms of growth out of this team? I definitely want to see a lot more communication uh, with our freshmen and sophomores. They do a really, really good job of that off the court. On the court, it gets a little bit flustered and, and, and gets kind of disjointed a little bit. So we're looking to continue to build that um, consistency and serve receive. I think that is our number one priority. If we can't pass the ball, we can't set our big middles, we can't do anything offensively. So we really, really need to make sure that we're getting better at those two phases of the game. Um, you know, our our team motto, our team word of the season is consistency, and we talk about it every single day. And I really believe that if we're consistent in the way that we execute both offense and defense, we're going to be one of the top teams in the country. Right now we're not doing that. Right now we're on and off, up and down. We need to find a little bit more consistency and not give sets away like we've been doing. Yeah. So, I guess kind of like uh, just where you're at right now, you know, um, how are you feeling just like as a coach of this team, you know, the ups and downs so far, uh, not necessarily looking at any of the on the court stuff, just, you know, let's talk maybe about team chem- chemistry, mm-hmm. uh, bonding, that sort of thing. Yeah, I, team chemistry wise and bonding, the girls are great. Like they all care about each other and they really enjoy coming in the gym every day and hanging out with each other and working hard. It, it's different on the court. It's, I think it's a lot more of a solo mission rather than a partnership. And, mm-hmm. and they're, you know, working on trusting each other a little bit more. And we're, we're trying to figure out why it's not translating. If it's lineups, if it's too much moving around, whatever it may be, we're fixing it. We're trying to make sure that things are good. As far as my mental health and standpoint, <laughs> we're, we're doing okay. Um, I, I had never started a season 0-1. I uh, never started a season 0 5 either, so <laughs> that was definitely a adjustment, but the girls have definitely bounced back, obviously, and like I said, they, they've taken care of the wins that they need to take care of, and now we're pretty much back to 500, and, and we're at just square one again. Seems like they're good at facing adversity, though, because you, you've never started a season 0 and, 0 and 5, but since you went 0 and 5, now you're 4 now, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're a team of streaks right now, and I, I don't know how I feel about it. If we're on the positive side, great. Uh, the negative side, not so much, but they are learning how to win. They're learning how to win as a team. We have a lot of freshmen that are playing, so it's really good for them to see this adversity and kind of push through it, and it's good for the sophomores to help yeah. them kind of push through it as well. So it is definitely a positive on the whole, I would say, just because of how they're responding. Yeah. Kind of a weird question to ask a head coach of any team <laughs> of any sport, but you know you're entering this tournament this weekend, a smaller tournament than that first one, yep. but still. And like you mentioned, College of Page, number four team in the country, all D three schools you're going to be facing at the national tournament. <laughs> uh, you know, realistically, what are you hoping or expecting in terms of wins and losses here? You know, um, hard to go undefeated, but possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, hard to go completely defeated but yeah. again possible <laughs> <laughs> very much so i mean we're we're facing cod's five and one centuries three and one um i believe north lake is one and three and then minnesota west is seven and two so overall the teams are very competitive and very very talented so realistically i'm hoping for again 500 i think that that's a realistic goal that we can shoot for and 
when we were talking yesterday at practice, I asked the girls, how many matches do they think they need to win to make it to the national level? And just going off of paper and, and team's records, you know, if we get to that 25, 26, 27 mark, we're probably looking pretty good for nationals, but that means they have to squeak out four to six wins against teams that we're not supposed to. Yeah. So I think that really starts today and or tomorrow and Saturday and, you know, we, we pull off some upsets in quotations. But, you know, I, I think that that's a really good starting point for, for the girls in the team. Cool. Well, Tom, good luck this weekend. Thanks, I know sir. we got one of your student athletes coming in uh, next, uh, but, you know, we'll have you on again at some point. It may be a few weeks, but, <laughs> you know, you're always welcome back. I love it. Love doing this. This is brings me back to my old days. So oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. Next up here on Coffee with the Wolves, I'm joined by Hannah Frascura. Hannah, Hi. welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> uh, have you ever been on a podcast of any sort? Have you ever been interviewed by a journalist at, in high school or anything? Nope. So a little bit of a first time for you, a little awkward? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the show. Uh, Coffee with the Wolves, we've been doing this for almost a year now. Um kind of to highlight both our programs and our student athletes so first first time i've had a uh, volleyball student athlete here so nice. welcome <laughs> Thanks. uh we're gonna dive right in uh and i guess just kind of start how do you feel how your season's going so far i think it's going pretty good um our record isn't exactly where we want it to be but we have so much potential so i think it's a really good start for yeah. the season yeah, I want to talk to your coach quite a bit about, you know, starting the season 0 and 5, but then 4 and 0 since then. Mm -hmm. uh, t uh, kind of going on these streaks, uh losing winning. Uh but you have a chance to go 500 this weekend, get over 500 even. Uh you know, how how's yours and this team's confidence kind of going into this uh next little tournament here? I think we had a good practice yesterday, very focused discipline practice and I think if we have an even better practice today we're going to come in with a ton of confidence and really surprise teams this weekend and I think we can go over 500. Cool. Uh, so how, how, how would you uh, kind of rate your performance this uh, season so far? Uh, I know you told me before I hit record I kind of went fast because I wanted <laughs> to make sure I could pronounce your name right. Uh, defensive backs was that what you were? Yeah, defensive specialist. Defensive yes. Defensive specialist. Um, you know, how would you kind of rate your performance so far this year, and where do you think you you can improve? I mean, I'm I'm struggling a little bit um, this season, but I think every game gets better, every practice gets better, um, confidence is getting there again. I think that my serve receive needs to be a lot more um, consistent, but my teammates are very helpful, so. I'm not worried that I won't get there yeah. by this weekend. Yeah, I know I know a thing about struggling. Uh, <laughs> I had a tooth pulled the other day, and uh, I'm having trouble speaking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> normal. <laughs> um, my, not, my mouth is a bit numb. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so your sophomore here at JJC, uh, I assume you play. I wasn't here last fall. I assume you played last year as well? Yes, half the season. Half the season. Why only half? I got hurt in the oh. middle of it. <laughs> I, well, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, well, uh, kind of from last year to this point, uh, even though you only had half a season, you know, how do you think you've improved? Um, I think I've improved a lot as a leader. Um, we had a very, very um, strong leadership from our sophomores last year, and I think I've done a good job filling their roles and making the new girls feel comfortable and kind of like leading the back row as much as I possibly can. Uh, Coach Welsh has mentioned, you know, how you, this team has kind of built chemistry, bonded, uh, both, you know, before, you know, uh, fall camps and then, you know, up to this point. Being one of those student athletes, can you tell me a little bit about how this team builds chemistry both on and off the court? It's pretty easy to build chemistry with these girls. They're so fun. Um, we're all outgoing people. Um, there's a few that aren't, but it's really easy to get them out of their shell. But before we even had a team bonding outside of volleyball or the school, we all kind of got along. But the second we did something outside of the gym, it was very, it felt very natural, you know, like we're all like actually friends and um, we're all different in a way too. So that makes it a lot better. So how, how, how does that kind of work? You know, you, 
he said like we kind of met and really just connected right away but everybody's coming from different places i mean i i'm not sure where you went to high school without pulling it up but like maybe you have a teammate you were a teammate with there i know that's pretty common looking at all of our rosters as i do but you know you have people coming from all over the area that maybe you've played against or you've just simply never met you know so kind of building that camaraderie right away you know nothing weird about it no, I, I knew of a few girls, and but never played with them or against them. Um, there's some girls who played with other people on the team before, and that really helps them. But I think it's just I love how different it is from high school, yeah. um, not playing with the same girls I've always played with. Um, it's just a good opportunity to play with different girls from everywhere. Yeah, and especially at this level, JUCO, uh, you know, it's kind of rotating every year, mm -hmm. um, more so than even four-year schools. Uh, so I want to ask, going back to before you came to JJC, you know, what kind of made you decide to come here? And also, you know, uh, what, what's your major if you've got one? So I'm in district here for JJC, and my senior year I at volleyball, I really was like, you know, I don't want to play anymore, I'm tired of it. And then I was like, I'll just try it, like get hurt. So I reached out to Tom, and he was new that year. And the program was really promising to me. And it's just a good opportunity. It's close to home. Yeah. You know, mine as well. And I loved all the girls right away. They were all great. So I'm glad I decided to. My assistant coach in high school um, really pushed me to do it because she's like, you can do it, mine as well. So, um, yeah, I just – a lot of people told me to. So I was yeah. like, yeah, for sure. But I'm also majoring in radiology hopefully here, but right now I'm getting an associate in arts. Cool. Um, what are your plans after JJC? Uh, are you going to be on campus longer than just this year, I guess, or are you planning a transfer uh, after your sophomore year? So I want to do the program for radiology here at JJC. Um, a lot of universities don't have that, so either here, a place like Heartland or Kankakee Community even, just another, another JUCO. Yeah. Just for the program, but no no more volleyball after this year. <laughs> <laughs> You've had enough at this point. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I guess, uh, really, we can start wrapping it up. I won't keep you too long. I know you just got out of class and ran over here, so you probably want to do something <laughs> else with your time, too. Uh, but kind of looking ahead to the towards the rest of the season, what are you hoping uh, this team accomplishes? Uh, outside of the obvious, you know, you want to make national tournament, but um, beyond that. I just want, obviously, as far as we can possibly go is our goal. But I, would, I just want everyone to click with everyone on the court because, like I said, we're all, like, best friends. But sometimes on the court, you know, we haven't figured everything out. I just want to see us all succeed and volleyball to be easy and fun for all of us. Yeah. Do you ever, uh, or your teammates, do you ever feel the need to compete with each other? Um, because I, I was talking to Tom, and he had mentioned, you know, it's team sport, but also you're kind of an individual when you're on the court in the game. So, Yeah, we have a big team, so it's um, you're competing every day at practice or games for your spot. But I like it. It's a challenge every day. Everyone has um, competition in their own position, so I, I like it. It's, it's fun. It's Keeps me on my toes. Yeah. Uh, last question here for you. Uh, and I should have asked your coach this, but <laughs> I did not. Uh, it's called the show is called Coffee with the Wolves. There's always a suspicious lack of coffee on this show. I mean, we're recording it technically at 12:30 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> it comes out on a uh, Friday morning. <laughs> but uh, what's your go-to coffee? Um, mine is a pumpkin cold brew from Starbucks. Nice. Sponsor me. <laughs> 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 All right, well, Hannah, it was great having you on the show. Uh, and, yeah, you know, yeah. You, hopefully maybe you'll come back next time I drag Tom back here too. Yeah, thanks <laughs> for having me. Uh, join us next week for more Coffee with the Wolves.